I was six months pregnant with my second daughter when I got two different types of news. The one where my husband was telling me that he no longer wanted our marriage. And at the same time, the next day, God telling me, I'm going to restore your marriage. Um, I did my checklist, as any Christian would. I'm going to fast. I'm going to pray. I'm going to do all these things because this is the word of the Lord and this is, this. is he's going to do it for me. And the divorce went through. And I, I feel like this was a moment in my life where I didn't know. I didn't have a list anymore. What do you do after you've had a promise that God's going to restore your marriage and the judge says the divorce is like it's finalized? I didn't know whether I needed to, whether God just wanted me to hold on to that promise at that very moment and it was what it was or... He wanted me to push beyond and really trust that his that he knows the end from the beginning and his word stands no matter what. And I remember sitting in my in my bed and I did one of those things where you just kind of randomly open your Bible and it just just happens to open up in Isaiah 54. And I just remember reading that the God of the whole world, the universe, my maker, my creator, was also called my husband. And when I read that, I just began to weep and weep and weep and weep because I don't think I had ever, 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 first of all, I didn't have the relationship that I have now with God. Now he's my daddy. He was very far off. So for me to think, wow, wait, you could also, I mean, not are you, not only are you God, you could be my husband. And to me, a husband represented a provider, one, someone that loves you, someone that, that takes care of you, someone that... Uh, does so many amazing and wonderful things. I mean, the list can go on. And I took that literal. I was like, what is a husband? And every day I was a single mom, two girls, and I would come home and I would serve him food. <laughs> and I would put a plate and I would tell the girls, that's God's chair. He's, that's, that's his place. I would go to sleep and he would be right next to me and I would make sure that that's, that's your place. That's where you lay with me. And I would wake up in the mornings and it was like this joy because I wasn't just like, he was so present to me. For the first time, he was, for me, he just felt tangible and, and real and, and authentic. And I could relate because he was my husband, my maker, my provider. And for the first time, my secret place, which at that time I didn't call it my secret place, I would put the girls to bed and that was like my intimate moment with him. And I would just sit there and we would talk and I would tell him all these things that I, just like I would tell my husband. And I would dance, I would dance with him. So many times I just remember putting music and and I would say, okay, Holy Spirit, like you are, you're with me. And we would just dance and I would laugh. And he became my everything. And I always go back to that moment when things even to this day get hard. I go back to that, to those sweet moments of you're my husband, you're my provider. Your word stands, you're everything to me. And I'm glad I did that because I fell in love with him. And I began to, he began to show me 
the way he saw life. He began to show me the plans that he had for me. He began to um, speak to me even more clearly about the promise he made to me, that it stood, that I needed to hold on tight to him and trust him and allow his word to bear fruit in my life. And every time it got hard, and I wanted it to give up, nothing and no one could ever replace the fact that he was all mine and I was his. That was the sweetest thing that he could have gifted me with in the midst of chaos, in the midst of brokenness, in the midst where in the natural everything seemed so hopeless. Being a single mom, I was struggling. I didn't know where my next meal was going to come from but i had him and it felt like i had i had everything if i had him i had everything and i remember someone telling me he's this person said but your situation hasn't changed and i said yes it has because i've changed i have him and if i have him i have everything and because he taught me this to hold on to him to see things through his eyes, how to, how to speak, how to pray, even over my husband, how to stand for his word and his promise. I now, at this very moment, am experiencing the fulfillment of that word. I'm ex I, I have a restored marriage. And every day I wake up and I'm grateful. I'm grateful because we've added two more kids the, the, sometimes I think if I would have given up, my whole life would have been so different. And I'm so grateful that he didn't allow me to give up. And to this day, I say, please, Abba, don't ever let me give up. With anything that I ever go through, help me to continue moving forward. But it always goes back to that place of opening the Bible in the midst of like, what do I do now? And he showed me Isaiah 54. Just a reminder to this day, I am your maker. I am your Abba. I am your husband. I'm your provider. You're mine and I'm yours. Hey guys, uh, hope you enjoyed that video. Um, I was behind the camera and Let's just say I was crying, so I'm sorry if you see me a little red. Because just every time I hear that story, it just reminds me of his goodness. Um, during that time, I was going through my own encounter. And I only still believe that it was the encounter that she was having with God that was encountering even me in my season. And it's when God brought me home. Um, God has given me a vision of a story and a movie that I want to tell. I'm a filmmaker. Um, he also told me that this movie is meant to be given away to the world. We want to give it away. Yeah. We don't want to charge anyone for this movie. So we need your help. We need your support. Many of you guys have followed us for a long time, know about this project. It's been going on for, we've been trying to fundraise for it for a while now, but I feel the wind of Abba on it. Um, he's continued to heal our family and now is the time, but we need your support. So in the description, uh, there's ways that you could give towards this project. Um, help us get this rolling. Um, I have partnership with um, studios to get this going. We just need the finances to be able to film it. So God bless you guys. We love you. And hopefully we'll see you in the next video.